Hello friends, welcome back to MPR TV. In the last video, we just discussed the key difference between MPR and GPT. And in this video, we are going to discuss between the basic disk and dynamic disk. So when you install a Windows operating system, you can choose between the two types of logical disk, basic disk and dynamic disk. The type you select has huge implication for your Windows server and the software that runs on it. So let's look at these uh, types of logical disk and why you need to understand the main difference between them. First of all, we will discuss about the basic disk. Basic storage use normal partition table that are used by all versions of uh, Windows operating system. A basic disk is initialized for basic storage and contains the basic partitions such as a primary partition, extended partition and logical partitions. So by default, when you initialize any disk in the Windows operating system, the disk is configured as a basic disk. Means every disk in a Windows operating system, initially it will be basic disk. It's easy to convert between uh, basic disk to dynamic disk without any data loss. However, you when you convert a dynamic disk to basic disk, all data on the disk will be lost. As you are seeing on this our server, we have a disk 0 that is inside the basic disk type and we have a disk 1 that is also basic disk type. If we want to convert basic to dynamic, that time we have a options convert to dynamic disk. And we want to convert the disk 1, that's why I just select disk 1, click on OK and that's it. Now our disk is converted into dynamic. So the first difference between basic disk and dynamic disk. On MBR disk, Partitions are called primary partition, extended partition or logical partition. While all partition on a GPT disk are called GPT partitions which functions like a primary partition. So there is a limitation in MBR base uh, basic disk. You can have uh, either four primary partition or a three primary partition plus one extended partition. But the extended partitions can contain an unlimited numbers of logical drives. On other end, GPT based hard disk can hold up to 128 partitions. If we discuss about the dynamic disk, dynamic disk storage was introduced in the Microsoft Windows Server 2000 operating system. Dynamic storage enables you to perform disk and volume management without having to restart your computer that are running Windows operating system. A dynamic disk is one that you initialize for dynamic storage and it's contain the dynamic volume. So when we configure dynamic disk, we create volumes rather than a partition and a volume is a storage unit that is made from free space on a one or more disk. You can format the volume with a file system and can assign it drive later or configure it with a mount point. It's the same to same just like a basic disk. On dynamic disk we can create a five types of dynamic volumes to enhance computer performance like simple volumes, span volumes, strip volumes, mirror volumes and the fifth red volumes. So let's uh, see the image which I have on my computer and that is the image. The following operations can be performed only on dynamic disk and what are that? First, create and delete simple span, strip, mirror and red file volumes that is only possible on dynamic disk. You can't create a mirror volume on a basic disk. Second, you can extend a simple or span volume between multiple disks and that thing is not possible in basic disk. So in dynamic disk type, you can extend your partition between multiple disks. Third, remove a mirror from mirror volumes or break the mirror volumes into two volumes that is only possible in uh, dynamic disk. Fourth is you can repair mirror or red five volumes on dynamic disk and the fifth and last. You can only reactive a missing or offline disk on a dynamic disk type. So these are the key difference between the basic disk and dynamic disk. In future video, we will see the steps to create a simple volume, span volume, mirror volume and red file volumes on hard drives. So that's it for this demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.